Hey Sans fans, welcome to another of my videos and I'm going to talk about our right wingers. Now we're going to start off this video by talking about the one prominent right winger that's no longer on the team and that would be Bobby Ryan. So Bobby Ryan, after I believe it's six seasons, uh, 266 points over 466 games, has now moved on. He's uh, signed with the Detroit Red Wings and you know, good for him. I, I liked him as a player. He was uh, generally a, a decent enough second line player. But of course, the problem with Ryan is that he was always overshadowed by his contract. You know, the Senators signed him to this ridiculous $50 million contract, and they ended up watching him usually get maybe 40 points a season uh, for $7 million bucks. so it clearly wasn't worth it. I mean, if Ryan was maybe making half that much money, nobody would really care. Uh, but yeah, it hung over him, so that's kind of what he was known for, is as like one of the most overpaid players in the NHL, and a guy that the Senators just couldn't get rid of because his contract was so bad. But the Senators just did buy him out and we're moving on to uh, to the next generation now. So uh, the newest player that we have, probably our best signing of the offseason, is Evgeny Dadanov. The Senators got him from Florida. He is a player who was one season removed from a 70-point season, and he's a good signing. He's probably going to lead the team in points this season. I think, honestly, it's probably going to be between him, Brady Kachuk, and Thomas Shabbat. I think those three, it's really kind of a toss-up. Uh, but Dadanov, very good offensive player. The one problem, though, is that he is 31 years old. And the funny part about this is that the Senators signed Dadanov from the Florida Panthers, and then the Florida Panthers ended up signing Anthony Duclair. So it's like the Senators and the Panthers just traded players. So did we get the better end of the bargain? Well, I mean... Yeah, Dadanov, I would say, is a better player, at least right now, but he's also six years older than Duclair. And when you're in a rebuilding phase, you know, you should kind of lean towards the younger players. So I would have just kept Duclair, and, and Duclair would have been cheaper anyways. I mean, you could have had Duclair for half of what you're paying Dadanov. But, you know, it is what it is, and, and you know, what can you do? Uh, Connor Brown's our second-line center, or sorry, second-line right winger. And, uh, you know, he's a good player. He proved it last season. Had a career season. Uh, I think he had 43 points. Was uh, one of our top scorers, actually. Only one point behind Brady Kachuk. And he's a, just a very good all-around player. Doesn't do any one thing spectacular, but he's good in all areas. He can play well offensively. He's good defensively. He's, you know, just plays good all-around game. And he's a good leader. And he's a good mentor for the younger players as well. Uh, he's going to be a good mentor for a guy like Tim Stutzla. So yeah, I mean, they re-signed him, and, and that's good, because he is one of our better players, actually. Uh, Drake Batherson has dominated the AHL for, I think, the past two seasons, and now it's time for him to get a full-time role. I will be very upset if the Senators send him back to the AHL, unless he shows up to training camp, he's just totally out of shape. But there's really just no reason at this point for him to play in the AHL. Last season, he had 10 points in 23 NHL games, so he's proven he can play at this level. In the long run, I see Batherson as a 25-goal scorer. That guy who can play on the second line. Um, basically, almost like a replacement for Bobby Ryan. Um, but yeah, he's a very good prospect, and it's time for him to get a full-time role. And actually, I think this season, if Batherson's on the team and Tim Stutzler's on the team, at least this season, I think Batherson will outplay him because he is just older and he's just got more experience in the minor leagues. And, you know, at this age, you know, he's, I think, three or four years older. So, yeah, you have to give it to Batherson. Um, but anyways, um, this brings us to Austin Watson. The Senators acquired him from Nashville for a fourth-round draft pick. Uh, Watson last year had uh, 14 points in uh, 53 games for Nashville. So he's... You know, he's a fourth-line player. Basically, he's here as a replacement for Scott Sabaray, who did, was not re-signed, who's now playing in the AHL with the Marlies. Uh, I don't expect Watson to get very, to have much of an impact. He's just there basically to plug a hole. And, you know, he's a big guy, six foot four. He's basically the right-wing version of Nick Paul. You know, 15 to 20 points. Um, this leaves us with Vitaly Abramov, who's sort of a... Decent enough prospect, I guess. I don't know if Abramov's ever going to be a full-time NHLer. He has played well in the AHL. Um, 
uh, 41 points in 51 games. So I think he should get a few games here and there. But I don't know where he fits into the Senators' future. Abramov, I think, is one of those players that's going to spend a lot of time switching between the AHL and the NHL. And then he's just going to get fed up and he's going to go overseas and play in the KHL. That, that's kind of how I see Abramov's career taking off. Uh, but we'll see. Maybe he'll surprise me and he will turn into a full-time NHLer. And it leaves us uh, with Logan Shaw, who was uh, signed as a free agent. Last year he had 5 points in 35 games with Winnipeg Jets. So he's just there as an extra, just in case, uh, I guess, what somebody gets injured. So overall, I guess you'd have to give this, you know, I, I would give it probably C plus rating. Because, you know, Dadanov's a good player. Connor Brown's a pretty good player. Uh, Drake Batherson could really be a top rookie this season. So ultimately, I do think they're stronger on right than they are on left. Mostly because I think, other than Brady Kachuk, there's some question marks here. Here, there's a little bit more consistency. So yeah, right wing is pretty good. Um, and I guess if I look at this whole lineup, okay, so you're taking the rookies out of this. I, I would probably give it maybe either a C minus, a D plus. I don't think this is the type of lineup that's going to get us to the playoffs. But down the road, this could be a pretty exciting team. You know, Kachuk is going to be really good. Stutzla is going to be really good. I think Colin White is going to, to rebound and, and turn into a pretty decent player as well. And Drake Batherson should be pretty good. And, you know, you throw in uh, some of the other prospects we have in the system, um, like Robbie Yarvantain. Uh, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, but he, I, I think down the line, he could be a 25 to 30 goal scorer. Uh, playing in Finland right now, you know, playing pretty well. So, yeah, that's uh, that's the forward lineup. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, by all means, leave them in the video. Uh, we are doing these videos because I do want to start discussion. You know, I love the Senators. I love following them. And it's always great to discuss things with other fans. So, yeah, thanks for watching the video. And I'm Chris. And I will be back in my next video where I will talk about their defense and goaltending.